Hey everybody, it is an exciting day today. It is New Feature Discussion Day. Yay! New Feature Discussion Day. Woo! Yeah, New Feature Discussion Day. So what the heck is that? Well, we're going to talk about a potential new feature, which maybe kind of, sort of, probably, yeah, is going to come to Daedalus. So many of you are fans of paper wallets. I am as well. Uh, it's a long part of the legacy of the cryptocurrency space. And we are right now developing a QR code generator to move credentials from Daedalus to another device. And we are going to be using that for the Voltaire cell phone app. And then it got thinking, well, I just did that big lecture on PGP and security using these magical things called YubiKeys. And uh, it's one of my favorite security devices. It's like the Swiss Army knife of crypto. So why don't we build a better paper wallet? Why don't we build the best paper wallet? Why don't we build a paper wallet that is so amazing and secure and awesome and easy to use that we would be willing to have a bounty? So how about this? Why don't we build something as a bounty that I can put $1 million of ADA in it and publish the paper wallet, both the private part and the public part, out in the open and the challenge is if you can hack it you can keep it would that be something interesting so let's talk about how to build it all right so qr codes for those of you who don't know look like this you've seen them all around they come all around they can store a lot of data. You can do color QR codes. You can embed pictures in them and so forth. And basically uh, how they work is that you scan them like a barcode with your cell phone camera or your laptop camera or your PC webcam and your computer can interpret it and then take the data payload. So let's start with, okay. Let's start with two QR codes. Okay. I'll write that for QR code and I'll do orange for the private one. How about that? You have a public QR code, and this is kind of an address that people can pay to and verify the balance that is stored on that wallet. And you have a private QR code. And what we're going to do is have a shielded QR code. So what that means is you take your private keys, your data, maybe your wallet recovery phrase, And you take all of that, and shielded means that you encrypt it. Okay? So a computer can scan it and get the encrypted payload out of the QR code, but they can't decrypt it. Well, the problem is that usually when you shield it, you use a password. Right? And passwords are bad. People are really bad at picking passwords, and it's not really the most secure thing in the world. And if somebody takes that paper wallet, they can conduct a whole bunch of brute force attacks with rainbow tables and things like that. And unfortunately, they're probably going to be able to get your wallet recovery phrase. But what if we had an ID center in Daedalus? And we're going to have to build something like this for Prism anyway, as you guys upload your did. And that ID center lets you upload your public PGP key. Okay. If that's the case, then we can use the openpgp.js library to encrypt your shielded QR code. Oh, and guess what? We don't need to store your private key for that encryption in Daedalus. You don't need to enter a private key, any of that stuff. Why? Because if you have one of these guys, because we're going to be adding in YubiKey support at some point to Daedalus in the hardware center, you can just simply, whenever you want to decrypt the wallet, here's your paper wallet, you'll have a private part and a public part. All you have to do is just take the wallet, hold up the private part to your webcam, 
or your cell phone for eventual mobile support, scan it, okay, scan, and then it'll say, ah, oh, this is encrypted and requires you to decrypt with your key. You plug it in, enter your pin code, and it will decrypt and restore your wallet recovery phrase automatically. No entering of keywords, anything like that. Super easy user experience. Hold up like you're scanning menus these days and restaurants in quarantine because they don't want to give you menus anymore. You click a key in, you enter a pin code, and voila, you have started the road to recovery there. Here's the beautiful thing. If that paper wallet ever gets re uh, uh, compromised, meaning that if somebody gets access to it, like for example, when you're printing it, they get into your printer's memory from a shared printer or something like that, and they print their own copy out. So when it breaks into your safe and they find the paper wallet, that private part is encrypted. And as a consequence, and it's encrypted with a very strong standard, RSA 4K. Come on, that's pretty good. That's how the internet is encrypted. No one's going to be able to decrypt that. In fact, I'm so confident in this. If we were to implement a scheme like this, what I'll do is I'll load $1 million worth of ADA into a wallet of this nature, and I'll publish both the public and the private part to the web, through my Twitter, and on our website. And we'll put a little disclaimer. If you can hack it, you can keep it. How about that? So there's a lot to do to implement a feature like this. Uh, we're thinking about uh, all the logistics. We'd have to get everything security audited. We're obviously going to have to try it out here. But I think that's a really good bug bounty uh, to see if we did everything correctly or not and to get some assurance that these things work properly. And it's a beautiful user experience. When you make your wallet, you'll have a little button back up on paper. You can click the button and you can enter in your hardware key. You just plug it on in. And then suddenly you have the most secure paper wallet ever generated in the industry. We can do colored QR codes and make them very beautiful. And we can have a beautiful template. So when you print that, it'll have the prettiest paper wallets in industry as well. And you can put these certificates anywhere you want. We can even explore hot seat multi-sig. What the heck is that? If you guys remember the old video games in the 90s, they had instead of multiplayer, it was called hot seat, which basically meant you had multiple players, but you'd use the same computer and people would just get out of the chair and somebody else would come in. It was very popular in turn-based games. Well, similarly, you could do an M of N encryption. So, for example, if you have, uh, you know, two of three, then you could use three Yubi keys. You could upload three uh, public keys, RSA keys, to the ID center, and then any two that come together can decrypt the wallet. So you can store a paper wallet, and you require multiple people, multiple keys, to be able to access that. So we could even explore M of N. So this is an example of rapid innovation that's coming thanks to the new Daedalus platform and thanks to Shelly. We can talk around these things and think around these things and really innovate and push things along and uh, even talk about potentially, you know, how could we do this with some sort of cold staking component? So you can back up your keys on paper, and then I'll, but you can still stake, for example. Something to think about. It also, this PGP infrastructure with keys uh, means that your spending password can rotate. How PGP works is that you have what's called a session key. So every time you encrypt something with PGP, it generates a new key. And then it encrypts that key after you've used it to encrypt your file uh, with your public key. So every time you encrypt something, you're rotating the session key. It's a nice little security feature that they have. And PGP under the hood uses AES-256, which is the gold standard in symmetric crypto. It's very fast. Intel and AMD both have acceleration cores for it, processors, as does ARM. So it just works really well on all devices. And the military uses this to secure classified information. So something to think about. It's a cool new feature. I'm pretty excited about it. Uh, I think we can do it. Uh, after we clear this Shelly backlog and we get through all these things, this is the fun part of my day where we get to do new feature day. Yay! If you guys think this is something interesting and you want to go for it, I'm definitely interested in it. And I would love to do a bounty, a million dollars worth of ADA in a paper wallet. And if you can hack it, you can keep it. 
of course, we'll put all the legal disclaimers and all that other stuff. The lawyers will have to figure out how to state all that stuff. And we'll probably only leave it on the, that particular wallet for like three or six months or something, because I don't want that money locked up forever. But you get the idea. We're confident in it. And um, we stand behind the things that we do. So we'll, we are actually already investigating this feature because we are doing a shielded QR code. And we're building that in Daedalus for Voltaire. I would love to have a YubiKey component or any hardware U2FA component. And I think this would massively simplify backing up your wallet because you, can, you have a non-digitized secure paper wallet that if that piece of paper is compromised, it does not result in a problem. So, uh, so there you go. Okay. Uh, just wanted to make a quick video for new feature day, talk about the future, and I'll occasionally make these videos from time to time uh, to give you various ideas of things to do, and I think you're, uh, you're going to have some fun with it. We are definitely going to build an ID center into Daedalus because we need to for Prism. We're definitely going to start integrating hardware support, not just Ledger and Trezor, but things like YubiKeys because uh, they just add so much security to the wallet experience. They give you access control. They give you uh, the ability to um, uh, have uh, secure spending passwords. And why not do it for recovery and backup? And you never actually have to write the words down. And you think about the recovery uh, mechanism. Literally, you're just scanning your, uh, your paper wallet with a webcam and then putting in your flat knife, your, uh, your little YubiKey, and entering a PIN code. And you've restored your wallet. That's pretty simple, right? And that is what we seek. Simplicity, security, and of course, fun. It has to be beautiful, fun, and secure. And it'd be really cool to have custom templates on the paper wallets, pictures of your kids, all kinds of things. You can print your own text on it, these types of things. We want to have that. This is the Daedalus of the future. This is the product of the future. And I cannot wait to see it evolve and grow. And I am so glad that it's Shelly is out because it means that I can now focus my time instead of when Shelly, I can focus on things like this that improve your practical security enormously and encourage our community to have a better security mindset. So if this is something interesting to you, I highly recommend you watch my security mindset video that I did that talks about securing your wallet recovery phrase and you start learning a little bit about how to use these devices uh, or devices like them to use uh, file encryption and for access control. $50 spent there is the best investment of your digital life, and it's going to make your life a lot easier and better. Okay, thanks for listening, and until next time, have a nice day from warm, sunny Colorado.